Great Ujima, Great Ujima family, I want to, I'm so glad that you have joined us here at the Congregation of the Mighty, the home of the stubborn minority, the place where your hustle builds muscle. This is Jami Journey Media. I am your host, Brother High Tim. Of course, you know this is the heart of a simple production all day, every day. And we are on the Our Thing Podcast where we're going to strive, strive, strive to blow up some of those old paradigms. Family, them old paradigms got to go wide because they're stopping us from being able to engage with our principles. They're stopping us from being able to change our lives. They're stopping us from liberating our minds, our spirits, our bodies, our emotions, our psyche from these chains, right? From these chains of West Asianism. But hey, it is what it is, family, and we're going to make it through. And as my, as my elder Mama Margarita always remind us, we shall win. And shit, hell, we have one, right? Why? Because y'all are listening to Giammy Journey Media and you are plugging into your culture. You're not just plugging into saying the words and remembering the, the, the definitions. You're plugging into a space where we want to challenge the principles, where we want to learn to live the principles and learn to discuss the principles and look at how the principles interact with each other and interact in our lives and come up with steps of action that we could take to activate these principles in our everyday life rather than just in a in a cele- celebration of a seven day period and then catch hell the other 365 days of the year you know we chill during the seven days of Kwanzaa so that we could focus on Kwanzaa why because the other 365 days we are practicing our principles we're thinking about our principles right we're going deep with our principles we're philosophizing about our principles and that is where we need to be but hey without any further ado let me give you the message of the day it's called unity in action elevating our tribe through the principle of ujima elevating our tribe through the principle of ujima and i'm gonna say this dear esteemed tribe members extended family members and all those listening and you know you need to get involved with us but hey it is what it is as we navigate through the week of umoja focus on the roots of unity today we spotlight another vital principle ujima and by the way great ujima we want to give all the ujima babies a round of applause that's right because it's a G- ujima day and we want to give all of the moja babies a round of applause because it is the week of umoja ujima which stands for collective work cooperation and here at Giami Journey, we also teach the concept of respect because in order for collective work and responsibility to work, respect has to be in motion. In a world often obsessed with individual accomplishment, Ujima serves as a refreshing reminder that collective effort is not just rewarding, but also deeply enriching. For the community, it champions the idea that our responsibilities and success are mutual. When one of us falters, we all bear the burden. One of us soars, we all share in the triumph. There's an African proverb that say that many hands make the workload light, right? Many hands. So that, that's just not the workload of the physicality. It's also the emotional, right? That's also the, 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 the struggle, right? But also through Ujima, when we um, when we when we when we have joy, it increases the power of the joy, right? Anyway, let's go. Unity isn't just an abstract concept; it's a tangible force that manifests most visibly through collective work and response and collective work and respect. The principle Moja and Ujima are interlinked. While Moja emphasizes the importance of unity, Ujima gives us the practical steps to achieve and maintain it. Whether it's participating in community service or collaborating on a project, collective work and collective effort stems from our roots of unity. It serves as a real world representation of what it means to be united in a purpose of spirit. So now here are some action steps This for those in the tribe and those outside the tribe. So listen up. I'm trying. I'm trying to I'm trying to scope this so that we can start bringing it to life because we've been talking about the philosophy now let's get to some action steps that we could take each day to bring our principles to life 
one identify a challenge within your circle community that can help that you that you can help address it could be as simple as helping a neighbor or organizing a small event two contact at least one fellow tribe member to collaborate with you on this endeavor right because Ujima don't work without accountability so you want you need an accountability partner remember the aim is collective work and cooperation number three reflect which is very important because in all of our steps we always have to step back and we have to reflect on how this act of collective work reinforces the roots of unity within our tribe Ujima like a moja isn't just a principle to be observed but a lifestyle to be lived or something to be added to your lifestyle right as we move further into this significant week let's keep ujima spirit alive by seeking ways to work collectively and respect each other's contribution let's make a pact to not just talk about ujima but to live it in doing so we fortify the roots of unity that make us strong and, and a resilient tribe. Your contribution in this collective effort not only enriches your life, but strengthens our shared roots of unity. Now, y'all know what's up now, right? Y'all know what's up. Tell me, what is it? What is it? What is it? That, come on, come on now. What is it? It's the proverb. 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 The Proper time, proper time. I want you to listen to it. I want you to tell me what you think it means to you. But here we go. Today, as we embrace the principle of Ujima, which causes us to commit to a collective work, uh, to our collective work, cooperation, and respect, we delve into the profound African proverb. You cannot work for food when there is no food for work. Let me say that again. You cannot work for food when there is no food for work. This proverb encapsulates a vital lesson about reciprocity and the symbolic re relationship that should exist within our tribe when one of us is in need it affects all of us it suggests that for a community to function properly there must be something to nourish and sustain each individual member in simpler terms we all need to contribute positively to the tribe for it to thrive collectively Let's say it again. In simpler terms, we all need to contribute positively to the tribe for it to thrive collectively. All right. So, it speaks directly to the principle of Ujima, emphasizing the importance of mutual support. Collective work is not a, a one-way street. It's a cycle of give and take. It's our tribe. It's if our tribe is to uphold the roots of unity, we must ensure that every member has something to work for, be it spiritual nourishment, knowledge, emotional support, or literal sustenance. Ooh, that was good. To strengthen these roots, let us aim to identify what is missing within our tribe and strive to provide it. If education is needed, let's share knowledge. If support is lacking, let's offer our hands and hearts if sustenance is low let's find ways to feed the soul and body of our community and our members in doing so we not only uphold the principle of ujima but also fortify the roots of unity that makes our tribe robust and resilient today as we engage in your in, in your daily activities take a moment to think about what you bring to the table and what the tribe offers you in return and remember in a community bound by mutual respect and work, no evil can befall us, for we are united in purpose, direction, and love. Wishing you a day of collective work, cooperation, respect, and abundant blessings. Family, now you know, you know, you know, we got to talk about the folk tip, but listen. I'm not gonna go into that. You gonna have to get with the. You gonna have to get on the email list in order to get that. And I am going to post up where you can do it. Boom! There you go, right there. Oh, join the tribe, freegnjecourse.com. Um, the folk tale of the day is the frogs' complaint against the sun, and this is a powerful lesson. It's a powerful lesson. Um, also, there will be a link there so that you could go and listen to the conversation, um, the discussion that I had about this folktale and hopefully um, get some wisdom that you could use in your daily life. And, and 
And I challenge you to add some wisdom. You know what I'm saying? Leave, leave us a message, right? But yo, this is your Brother Hot Tim. I am out. And I want to say thank you and peace. What is a lion without his pride? What is a whale without his pod? What is a monkey without his troop? What is a wolf without his pack? The answer is very simple. They are the same thing that a human being is without a tribe. Pray. Peace family, yo, thank you for joining us, right? And I'm thrilled to announce the fact that we are now releasing our first free e-course. Come and learn about Gianni's journey, see some of the stuff we do. Come and join the tribe, tribe up with us, and check out the free e-course. And we'll make sure that the URL pop up right about here, and it'll probably be somewhere in here, Check us out, family, because we are building. Come and learn about Gianni's journey, and let's build together.